you'll no longer be able to access the Creator Studio Classic platform, so you have to use this new Creator Studio platform. In this video, I'll share everything you need to know. Hi, Taylor here at Financial Potion, where video is your financial potion. To never miss out on a video, please make sure you're subscribed to our channel and click on the bell so you're notified every Friday, 5 p.m. Arizona time that a new video has been uploaded. For one-to-one -one training or to support our content, please click above and connect with us on our Patreon page. This is what you'll see when you're first uploading your video. It will look a bit different if you're optimizing your video after it's been uploaded. However, it's pretty similar. First is your title. You'll want to come up with an optimized title that is around 70 characters long and no longer than 100 characters. After that is your description. Remember, you want to have a description in a four part format. The first part is the three to four line explanation of your video with a call to action to your website. Remember to have a link clickable, you need to add the full URL. Then you want to add a full video description or add the transcription to your video. Lastly, have the general business bio section and stay connected section. In total, you'll want the description to be at least 2000 characters long. Next, you'll see thumbnail where you can upload your own custom thumbnail or make one using TubeBuddy. After that, you select your playlist you want the video to be in. Then you can say if the video is made for kids or not. This is a step you can choose in your upload defaults if you know you're going to be producing the same type of content. Next, you'll want to click on more options. There you can select if this was a paid promotion video or not, and this is where you can add your tags. You should already have tags in there through your upload defaults. However, you'll want to add others that are unique to this video. This is where you can upload your closed captions if you have an SRT file, or wait till this video has been fully published and then go back to make sure the transcriptions are correct and updated. I only add the recording location if it's a Google map location I want found, like a place of business. After that, you can click next, and that's where you'll be able to add your end screens. I really like the new screen for these end screens. It's easiest to import them from a previous video, then click on cards and add your cards. When you're done, click on return to YouTube studio and go to next and schedule your posts. That's a quick run through of the optimization steps. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below, or if you want one-to-one -one training, please don't hesitate to reach out. And until next week, stay engaging.